All right guys, so I'm gonna put my camera in my bathroom and turn on my shower and show you guys what happens to my mirror once it steams up and you're gonna see for yourselves how fucking sketchy this is. Now I'm live and I have people that are gonna watch me. I haven't even told them yet what I'm doing. Uh, I'm broadcasting. Hey, if you're on the broadcast, hey, if you're watching the video that I'm filming, basically, if the people on the broadcast didn't know, I'm filming a Q&A right now. And I'm gonna have you guys ask me questions live just because I didn't really feel like going on Twitter and looking for questions on there. So if you guys wanna start asking me questions, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to start answering them. Sorry, don't mind me getting this close to the camera to read the questions. When will my Q4 playlist be public? When this video is up, I will publish my Q4 playlist so you guys can go follow it. And I'm gonna do a whole video on it. I just usually wind up doing it a little bit later than the actual start of the quarter only because it takes me a little while to like get enough songs to want to publish the playlist and tell you guys about them. Is your house cute yet for a tour? Someone asked. It looks so good so far, but that side of the room is not ready to be shown yet. Probably it's honestly going to take me till 2017 to upload an apartment tour video, but it is going to be so good. Someone said, how was the purpose tour? Yikes. Y'all gonna kill me. I haven't even gone to the purpose tour. Is it even like happening? I stole this shirt from Dana. Dana, if you're watching this, come over. Are you excited for the tour? Guys, if you don't know, I'm going on tour. It is called Drop the Mic. I'm going with Ricky Dillon, Andrew Lau, Gabby Lau, and Chachi Gonzalez. So buy tickets with the link down below and come see us because it is going to be a freaking show. Are you planning on going to VidCon in Europe? Yes, I am and I am so excited because that's a great excuse to go back to Europe and I need to go back to Europe and actually like go around Europe. Netflix recommendations. Oh my God. I started watching the show called Black Mirror and they just uploaded their third season to Netflix, but there was two other seasons. I guess everyone has just been like re-talking about it or I missed like when people used to talk about it. Basically Black Mirror is kind of like what our future in this world could look like. A mirror of what could happen in like the darkest way almost. It's all a complete mind fuck and they leave you hanging. Like they do not just let you live with a happy ending. It may, it fucks you up. Rebecca's live at the same time as me. Rebecca did not steal my viewers. Rebecca stole my whole fucking career. Tragic. Do you have any drama in your life right now? No existence of drama. I've kind of just been like hanging out with people that aren't really in LA all the time. Um, and there's definitely not any drama with that. But this morning, uh, apparently, I went down to my pool this morning and there was caution tape around the entire pool. Apparently, some like ex-girlfriend was throwing fucking computers into the pool from her balcony in my, in my apartment complex. That is so me though, like I wish I was there to watch that. That's some shit that I live for. Like I wanna see a girl go that hard on her boyfriend that she chucks his shit in the pool. Someone asked me, have you had any paranormal experiences or paranormal things happen to you? Honestly, all right, so there like might be a paranormal experience going on in my apartment. So before I moved into the apartment that I live in right now, they usually like clean it entirely, scrub everything, clean all the counters, mirrors, whatever. The first day I moved in here on the mirror in someone's finger writing when it's like steamed or it's like really cold outside and you can write on the windows or something like that, it literally said goodbye mirror on it, like so fucking weird. And because I've told this to someone else before and they're just like, that was just the last person that lived there writing like goodbye to the mirror, you know? But like who the fuck writes goodbye to a mirror when they're moving out of an apartment? I mean, I wouldn't, I don't know what the fuck that means. It was literally in like a permanent thing because it's still fucking there. You literally won't believe me, but it is still there. All right guys, so I'm in my bathroom and I'm going to show you guys what happens when I turn on my shower and that steams up my mirror.
Now just imagine getting out of the shower and waiting to look at yourself and then realizing that your mirror fucking talked to you. Also, I wake up last week and I have a bruise on the right side of my leg. I wake up the next fucking day, the same bruise is identical on my other leg. And I have two identical bruises on my legs. If I like ran into the counter, it would hit my hip. My bed is so low that it wouldn't hit my thigh. So I'm so confused why I have two bruises that are exactly the same on the outsides of my thighs. Last piece of evidence that I have for this potential paranormal experience, which we will further investigate. I was going out with some friends the other day and I, I was listening to Speechless by Lady Gaga. And at the end of the song, she says, some men they follow me, but you choose death and company. I just got fucking chills everywhere because as I sang this song and like said those words, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a like white spirit like thing just like flash. It was just so weird because it happened at the exact same time that I sang the words out loud, death and company. As I said it, I almost stopped saying it because I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. And then I said to my friends, I said to Claudia and Rebecca, I was like, guys, I think I just saw a ghost. No, like I literally think I just saw something. And they were like, yeah, well, whatever. I mean, like, yeah, I guess, like whatever. Like what do you do about that? But um, so fucking weird. Goodbye, mirror, ghost bruises, seeing things when you hear the word death. Who saw a ghost? I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a good time filming it in front of this live audience. If I ever do anything like this again, then you guys who follow me on Twitter will be the first to know. So make sure to go follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. I make new videos all the time, so subscribe to my channel if you are not. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys next week.